Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us for this time of prayer. Let's worship the Lord. Let's invite him into our circumstances, but let's just bless his name, for he is worthy to be praised. Father, we just come before you humbly, but yet boldly in the name of Jesus Christ. God, how we love you today, and we want to say thank you so very much, oh God. You've been so good to us, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we praise you. We praise you, Jehovah Jireh, our great provider. God, we thank you for who you are. God, we worship and adore you, Lord Jesus. Oh God, you are the great I am. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are Emmanuel, God with us. Lord God, you are the bright morning star. You are the rose of Sharon. God, we thank you that you are the King of kings. Oh God, we just bless your name. You're the ruler of our hearts. God, you are our Savior. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh Father God. God, we give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, Lord Jesus, for you are worthy to be praised. God, we're not ashamed to lift up our hands to you. We're not ashamed to open up our mouths and to bless the name of Jesus Christ. We're not ashamed to say Jesus is our Lord. We lift you up, Lord Jesus. We exalt your holy name, Lord Jesus. We're not ashamed, oh God, to lift up our voice and give you praise, for you are worthy worthy of all the praise and all the glory and all the honor, Lord Jesus. God, we sincerely mean this, O oh God. You are good. You are good, Lord Jesus. God, we thank you so very much. We thank you so very much. God, and that's why we will worship you. We worship you. We thank you, Lord God, for the cross. We thank you that, oh, Father God, you sent down Jesus, oh, God, to dwell among us, oh, God, to understand, to live among us, but yet, oh, Lord, you still died for us, Lord Jesus, and you rose from the dead, conquering death. You sent the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that is here with us, that convicts us and guides us and leads us. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you for being here. We acknowledge you, O oh Lord. Holy Spirit, thank you so very much for leading us and guiding us. God, we thank you so very much, O oh Lord Jesus, that where you guide, O oh Lord, you will provide. And we want to say thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you for who you are. We give you praise and glory and honor. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, we come to you. You are the Lamb of God. We come to you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless your name. You're the seeker of men's hearts. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we praise you. We praise you. We thank you that you love us so very much, oh, God. We thank you. We give you our hearts today, God. We give you our hearts today. We give you our hearts today. Oh, we thank you and we praise your holy name. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. We humble ourselves before you and we say, come into our hearts. God, we genuinely repent of our sins right now. We acknowledge, oh God, that we have sinned against you. We ask you with genuine repentance to forgive us of our sins. God, we are nothing without you. God, we need you. We don't want to do life without you. In fact, we cannot do life without you. Jesus, we want you, Lord God, and we give you praise and glory and honor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Oh God, come into our lives, come into our hearts. We want you as our savior afresh, oh God. Come, cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash us with your precious blood in the name of Jesus Christ. You are our savior and we rejoice in that. We rejoice in that, oh God. We're so grateful that we have a wonderful, wonderful personal relationship with you 
you, O oh God. Lord, we thank you so very much for that. We thank you so very much, O oh God. Father God, I pray that every single person that's watching, O oh God, that we will all do the will of the Father that we will do the will of the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. That, oh God, as we call upon you, we will hear you. We'll seek first the kingdom of God and your righteousness, your holiness. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we will put you first and foremost, oh God. Let us do your will. Let us do your will, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise. Oh God, I thank you. May our direct relationship with you become more intimate, more intimate, God, a closer relationship with you as we pick up your word, oh Lord. Let it be like life to us. Oh God, reveal your word to us. Let us hold your word dear to our hearts, Lord Jesus. God, we want you. Your word is right. Your word is truth. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, let us hear your word more than anything else out in this world, oh God. Your word, oh God, let it resound more in our lives, more than anything else in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise, we give you glory, and we give you honor, Lord Jesus. Father God, we give you thanks. You are our Heavenly Father, and you reign over situations. You reign over this earth, O oh God. You reign over sickness, O oh God. You reign over financial lack, O oh God. You reign over cancer, God. You reign over sickness, Lord Jesus. You are higher, Lord God. You reign, O oh God. You are greater, O oh God. You are greater than our biggest trouble that we could face, O oh God. You reign, O oh God. You you are all powerful. You are all powerful, oh God. In fact, you have never lost a battle, Lord Jesus. And we worship you and we thank you, Lord God. We give you our hearts continuously, God. For you reign, you reign over our hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I thank you. There is none like you. You are matchless, oh God. You are matchless, oh God. You are matchless. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, I pray that you would mold us, mold us into the person that you want us to be. Mold us into the people that you want us to be. To bring you glory and honor, Lord Jesus, every moment of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, teach us how to pray today. Teach us how to pray today. God, you see the prayer requests that are coming in. You know the prayer requests. You see what's going on in this world. You see the calamities that's been happening, God. The devastations, oh God. The wars and rumors of wars, oh God. And in the midst of it, God, you are still Lord. You are our Savior. And we bless your name. And we honor you, God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ again that you would cover every single person that's watching with the blood of Jesus Christ. Christ. Let no weapon formed against them prosper, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, I pray that you would cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord God, that you, O oh God, will take what's wrong and make it right in the, their lives. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God. As Psalm 140, verse 6, Psalm 140, verse 6 says, I said to the Lord, you are my God. You are my God. Listen to my voice of my supplications, O oh Lord. God, I thank you that you said, O oh God, that we can cast all our cares upon you, for you care for us. We thank you, Lord God, that, O oh God, that you, O oh God, care for us. What a God, a God that cares for us. We say thank you that we have an intimate, personal relationship with the King of kings and the Lord of lords. God, we respect you for who you are. We respect your word. We respect you, God. We honor your word. You are righteous and you are holy. You're not to be taken lightly. God, we honor you and we thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Oh God, thank you for quickening us by the power of your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, quicken us, oh God. Quicken us, oh God, that we may worship you, that we will grow closer to you, be molded into the person and the people that you want us to be in Jesus' name. Oh God, grab a hold of our physical bodies, Lord Jesus. Everything, oh God, that you have for us, oh God, your healings, your touching, oh God, oh God, Lord God, your promises, oh God, we want to grab a hold of you. God, mold us into the people that you want us to be, to be receptive to your touch, your Holy Spirit touch, your Holy Spirit, oh Lord God, Lord Jesus, come, come Lord Jesus, Lord, would you touch our bodies? Bodies. Would you touch our bodies, Lord? You know those that are in, sick in their bodies, Lord God. And we are still believing your word that says, by your stripes, we are healed. By your stripes, we are healed. By your stripes, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. God, we hold on to your word. We hold on to your word. We hold on to your word, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we hold on to your word. Oh God, it's like people, Lord Jesus. Jesus, that they will pay down on a, on a home or a vehicle or whatever. They're gonna, they don't see it yet, but oh God, they're gonna, they know it's light at the end of the towel. Turn on, they keep paying it down. God, we still hold on to your word. We believe your word, but oh God, your word is truth. Your word is all powerful. More than what we have to pay down, God, your word is truth. Your word, oh God, stands in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray, oh God, that you'd reveal your truth to your people, that you'd reveal your truth to us, oh God, that, oh God, that you'd renew a right spirit within us, that you'd review, oh God, just, just oh God, just, oh Lord God, to show us your will. For us, oh God, make us an obedient people to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as we pray, let us examine our hearts, oh God. Let us examine our hearts, oh God. Let us look in the mirror first and foremost before we point any pitch, any fingers, God. Help us not to point fingers, oh God, but let us examine our hearts before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray continuously that you give us new, a new heart in you. Every day, a heart that grows from glory to glory to glory to glory in you, Lord Jesus. God, I praise you, God, and I thank you. As John chapter 14, verse 15. John chapter 14, verse 15 says, If you really love me, you will keep and obey my commands. God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we will fall in love with you, that we will fall in love with you, God, that in the name of Jesus Christ, because we love you, we will keep and obey your commandments in the name of Jesus Christ, that we, oh God, will just fall in love with you again and again in Jesus' name. God, I thank you, oh Lord God, that you are, you're the God of miracles in Jesus' name. Lord God, I thank you that you often use circumstances to change us. Hallelujah. And you, Lord God, you use us to change our circumstances sometimes. God, we thank you. You use us as our hand, as your hands and feet. God, use us as your mouthpiece in Jesus' name. We want to be molded by you. We want to, oh God, as we surrender our hearts, oh God, as we resist the devil, oh God, as we lay before you humbly, oh God, we want more of you, more of you, Jesus. God, I think about the cities that are represented, that are watching, Lord God, and I pray that you would fill our cities with people that love you. Fill our cities with more and more people that love you, Lord Jesus, that will fall in love with you over and over again. Every day, a new love relationship with our Savior, Jesus. Oh, God, in Jesus' name. God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that it's only by your Holy Spirit that we stand every day. 
Oh God, it's not by might, oh God. It's not by our own feelings or our own mind over matter, God. It's by your Holy Spirit. And we thank you that it's only by your Holy Spirit that we stand today, oh God. Right now, Lord Jesus. Oh God, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over those prayer requests, oh God. For those that are battling situations, God. Lord, you see them, God. We're not going to mention them by name specifically, God. But you see them. And God, would you have grace and mercy. Take what's wrong and make it right right now in Jesus' name. God, come in, Lord God. We welcome you into those circumstances. You, God, I welcome you to those bodies. I welcome you to those circumstances, the financial situations. God, you know, oh God, what they are facing right now. And I'm asking you in the name of Jesus Christ for you, oh God, to put a hedge of protection around them. God, protect them. Keep their hearts and minds focused, 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 focused on you, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name. God, I thank you that you remain faithful. I thank you that you remain faithful, Lord Jesus. We thank you that you're God that you are God and you remain faithful. God, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for speaking to my heart. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, say, God, thank you for touching our hearts. Thank you for speaking to our hearts, God. Our hearts are yours, God. We dedicate our hearts, oh God, to you. Our, our hearts are a place of dedication to you, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God, so very much. We thank you for speaking to our hearts and for your glory. I thank you that you're the searcher of men's hearts, O oh God. You came to, O oh God, you came, O oh God, for, to us, O oh God, because you love us. And we want to say thank you so very much, O oh God. You came to us, Lord Jesus. You gave your life for us, and we want to say thank you so very much, Lord Jesus. You're so good. You're so good. Lord, I thank you that in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, your word says be unceasing and persistent in prayer. Be unceasing and persistent in prayer. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you that we can continuously, oh God, be persistent. And, oh God, persistent in prayer knowing that you are faithful and our our prayers do not fall on deaf ears. God, we thank you so very much. God, I love how um, this scripture, God, in Psalm 116 verse 12, Psalm 116 verse 12 says, because you paid attention to me, I will call out to him as long as I live. In other scriptures, it, it, it says, Oh, God, I thank you so very much, oh, Lord, because he has inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call upon him as long as I live. Hallelujah. In Psalm 116, in verse 1 and 2, it says, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications, because he has inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call upon him as long as I live. Hallelujah. God, I plead your blood over every single person that's watching and listening right now cover them with the blood cover them with the blood cover them with the blood God I thank you Lord God for using circumstances to change our hearts and our minds and Lord I thank you God that you would use us Lord God in the name of Jesus Christ our surrendered hearts to you Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to change certain circumstances around us God I pray you would bless your your people to be a blessing. I pray, God, that you would bless them with the finances and the resources that are so needed in Jesus' name, oh God, to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, to help, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, to be a blessing, oh God, not for anyone to receive any glory, no ministry, no pastor, no one to be high and lifted up, but let the name of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ only be high and exalted and lifted up. That's why my God, we just lift you up again and again right now, for you are faithful and true. You are faithful and true. We bless your holy name, and we thank you, Lord God. That's why we will call upon your name as long as we live. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. 
First Chronicles, ladies and gentlemen, that's why we're consistently praying. First Chronicles 16, verse 11. First Chronicles 16, 11 says, Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. God, we seek first the kingdom of God. We seek you, O oh God, as your word says. You are our strength. You are our strength, O oh God. You are our strength, O oh God. And Lord, I thank you that we seek your face continually. Your face we seek, O oh Oh God, we love you for who you are, and we bless your holy name. God, I thank you for the favor of God. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, hallelujah. We thank you for your unmerited favor. You rule and you reign over everything. As we said before, God, you have never lost a battle, God. You reign. You are all powerful, Lord God. You are matchless in who you are. God, we give you praise. God, we give you glory. We, oh God, seek your face. God, would you speak to our conscience? Would you speak to our conscience in Jesus' name? Transform us, God. Jesus, work on our inside, God. Jesus on the inside, working on our outside. Oh, what a change in our lives. God, transform us, oh God, into your image, oh God. Lord Jesus, we know that you are the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through you. Lord Jesus, we're not ashamed to say the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you so very much. Holy Spirit, humble us, speak to us. And this is a big one, Lord. Show us when we have blown it and when we need to apologize. Show us when we have messed up and we need to say we're sorry. God, forgive us of our sins, O oh Lord. Help us as we are in your presence to know that you are holy, you are righteous to be consistently holding on to your commandments everywhere we go, oh God. That we will, we will reverence your presence. We will reverence your commandments, your statutes, your word, oh God. No matter where we go, we won't be one person this place and another person this, but we'll be consistent who we are because we are in you. We are in you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. God, we give you every one of our worries. Every one of our concerns. Oh God, in Jesus' name. God, I thank you that we still have a reason to sing every single day. We have Jesus. We have you. And we praise your holy name. We give you glory, God. You reign over everything. You've been so good to us. You are our lamb, the lamb of God. You've been, you are our savior. God, we, you, you, God you, you died on that cross for us. We're so appreciative, Lord. We so love you so very much. God, you've been so good to us. You've been so precious, oh God. You've been so good, oh God. Lord, you've been so good, oh Lord. You've been God. We praise you, oh God. You care for the poor. You care, oh God, for the sick. God, you've been so good. You're so mindful of us, and we bless your holy name. God, we love you so very much, oh God. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your salvation. We thank you for your salvation. We thank you so so very much and we give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor lord you've been so gracious to us you are so gracious to us we have a reason to sing god you woke us up this morning you are faithful you are still on the throne you are all faithful you are the great i am you are holy you are righteous and we bless your holy name god we want to be closer to you god you know responsibility's mission god is to grow every single person in their personal relationship with you to be closer to you to walk according to your holy spirit Spirit and according to your holy word for us to stand out and shine more oh god for you in this world oh god for us to to reverence your presence to walk oh god to respect the presence of the holy spirit and to rely on the holy spirit god let us not rely on what our our, our head knowledge only but let us rely on you holy spirit say holy spirit would you lead us today we want you god we want you Pastor Nally and I, we want you. Respendency wants you, Lord. 
God, we may need a studio. We need a place to meet God. Instead of just, oh God, you know how hard it's been. Lord God, but in the midst of it, we need you. We want more for you. We want our personal relationship to be more, more of you in our lives, less of us. And God, we give you thanks. Now, God, you see those prayer requests that came in, Lord. And we plead the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. Would you have grace and mercy? Those that are watching right now, would you have grace and mercy? Every unspoken request, God, that you would touch them and you would be with them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for our international viewership. So many countries, God, would you bless them? So many prayer requests that have been coming in by email. God, some of them have been private, God. So, Lord, you know them, God. And, Lord, we lift them up to you. We lift up, oh, God, I lift up every family member of mine, oh, God. My mother, my, my brother, sisters, every single one, would you bless them, God? Pastor Natalie's family, God, would you bless them and cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ, oh, God? Would you touch bodies? Would you, oh God, every single person that's watching them and their loved ones, cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ? In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise, glory, and honor. We love you, Lord, and we thank you. Those, oh God, that you're restoring their bodies. In the hospitals right now, we say thank you. We thank you that you rule and you reign over our hearts. In Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen and amen. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being a part of Respendency. Thank you for joining this online community as we just reverence the Lord and just want to get closer to him as we call upon his name. Thank you for those of you that will tithe and, you know, sending in your offering to help us, been praying for us to, to get a place. We want to say thank you for lo your love. Thank you so very much for your prayers for us. We just really appreciate you. We thank God for every single email, text, those letters, those cards that come in that, that's to encourage. Lord, we just say bless you, bless you, bless you. May the Lord just make you reap heavenly blessings in Jesus name I just want to give a shout out for that because that's just really appreciative we thank God but you know we our dependence is on the Lord and we look for him and he's just been so good as we stand close to him and just hold on to his word and don't forget ladies and gentlemen you, you got to read the word of God every single day read the word every single day Read his word every single day. If you can look at certain social medias for 25 minutes, for half an hour, for a whole hour throughout the entire day, you can read. You can read his precious word and say, God, you've been so good to me. You've been so good to me. I, I will turn to your word and I will just read. Lord, I would just say read and I will read your word because, Lord God, you've been so good to me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He didn't come to condemn you. He came to save you. Surrender your heart to him, ladies and gentlemen. Surrender your heart to him. You'll experience a peace that I can't even explain. In Jesus' name. We thank God for you. I pray that you'd, meet, you'd see Pastor Natalie and myself as we're going to be on Sunday um, at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. For those that are watching in different time zones and different countries, we thank God for you. We love you. Be, enjoy the Be Resplendent episodes. Uh, enjoy the different shorts that are on here on YouTube. God bless you guys. I pray you like them, share them, t t send a message to YouTube saying that, hey, we want more and more stuff of like this to, to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. We thank God for you, ladies and gentlemen, and please do not forget to Stand out and shine for Jesus Christ. God is able. God bless you.